Nineteen years. Nineteen years trying to stop you. Nineteen years studying your findings. Your horrible experiments. The immortality you were seeking all this time. And I did it. I made it work. Let me tell you. I was about to give up. But you made a bad choice to try it one last time. Lester Arius. That death. That was the last straw. That's how I knew that you were not going to stop. Not even in that body. I've been studying your blueprints and analyzing your tapes for longer than I can remember. And let me tell you, you made quite a few mistakes. Yes, you did achieve immortality with full consciousness in your body. But still, your movements were limited. Being sensitive to light, to sound. I thought John McAdams was smarter than that. But don't worry, your son, the failure, the disgrace to the family, fixed all those problems for you and finally made it work. Or something like that. You see, I didn't want the kids to be in those bodies. They deserved a better life. They deserved a normal childhood. Play with kids their age, go to school, and socialize like normal human beings. You took that away from them a long time ago. They deserve to rest once and for all. Jason and Stacy, they are resting from the hell you put them through. All of them, finally free. But for you, I had a very special plan. I didn't know if I should show all the things you've done to the world. On one hand, it would have brought peace to the people who were still terrified of the dreaded Frankenstein. But I decided to keep your reputation intact. You're still the great John McAdams, to some extent. Most people have forgotten you after the company went under a couple years ago. I knew that if I brought this to light, your name would make a comeback, and I didn't want to give you the pleasure. That's why I decided to grant you your wish of immortality, but with a little twist. I wanted to make you feel the hell that you put Jason, Stacy, and all those other kids through. So, I added a few changes. You won't be able to speak. You won't be able to move. You will have no control over your body. You will still see, feel, and hear everything. You will live for eternity inside that machine with nothing more to do but to see how your work, your name, and your wish of being remembered like some kind of god vanishes like the figments of some bad dream. You won't rest. You will suffer for eternity. It's time to pay for your sins, John. <laughs>